Free Party Entertainment, Blog TV, Marcus Hardison. Yeah, so, <clears throat> back to the Sinatra shit. Um, so I told you about the songs. I got my way, I got Come Fly With Me, Luck Be a Lady Tonight. Yeah, I got that one. Um, stick With Me, Baby, I'm the guy that you came in with. Luck be a lady. <laughs> That's my man. Um, fuck. So we got luck be a lady. Uh, my way. Come fly with me. Oh, summer wind. Beautiful. I mean, gorgeous. Gorgeous fucking music. <laughs> I got one more that I got to remember it, though. I ain't even been smoking for the past week, so I should be all right. <clears throat> Let me see. Uh, might not remember this one, but hey. Time is ticking. I ain't going to waste video on me thinking. Even though I probably do look good thinking, right? <laughs> But, uh, music is going good. My story I got to tell oh, and share, yeah, I was telling y'all the reason why I'm going to blog tonight. It's been a while. It's been a couple of weeks. You ain't getting no free party entertainment, blog TV. But, <clears throat> that's why you live life. That's why you chill. You know what I mean? You can't blog every night, every day. You know what I mean? Get that feeling like, yo, let me, let me, let me let them know. Because all that typing shit, you can type all day, but dude, this is me. I see you niggas. This is me, nigger. I'm looking right at you, niggas. This is coming from the horse's mouth, Marcus. You know? So I had this job about two months ago, right? Got fired, you know what I mean? Little job abandonment, you know, common sense shit. So I fucked up. You know, job fairly, uh, fairly close to where I live at, you know? Um. I went to the crib, took a shit, but I didn't clock out. As if the guy that make the bank runs clocks out. As if the guy that goes to the store for these dickhead ass managers clocks out. Come on, man. So, as if if I was going to use that dirty ass bathroom and sit down on that dirty ass toilet. When the motherfucking door don't really lock and you think it's locked. Dick hanging down, shit coming out. I'm supposed to be comfortable? Nada. Nada. So, <clears throat> I go ham. You know what I mean? Abandoned the job for three minutes. Went to the crib and went ham. So, came back. Nigga. When my time, then this guy I'm telling you about, this is the manager talking about, when my time, you know, he said, yo, what are you doing? You you went, you took issue on my time? That's what you did? Say, eh, hey, dog, niggas had to go. Like, this shit major. You can't do the job if this shit don't come out. You know what I mean? So, went ham. You know what I mean? Anyway, this dude, this guy, he's the assistant GM. And, um, this guy I knew was foul. You know what I mean? He's, he's a foul guy. And I knew shit was personal with this guy. He can't tell me it's personal, but it's personal. This guy... He hired his brother, he hired his sister, he hired his father, and he even hired his fucking nieces, man. Proof is in the pudding, man. Something happened at the job, my old job, um, last Friday. <clears throat> so I know something happened. Just got finished talking to, you know, one of my ex-co-workers I used to work with, nice lady. You know what I mean? A little chocolate thing. You know what I mean? So I was like, what's up? You know what I mean? She said she had to talk to me. You know what I mean? I said, all right. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? You can talk to me. And um, she said, the boy father, mind you, it's the manager. The guy that fired me, his father. He gets like, 
works like six days a week. Like he's going ham, getting bread. Made sexual advances. Been making sexual advances to this lady I used to work with. And um, she already on deck with evidence and everything. She's good. She's good. Ain't nobody worrying about that. Push come to shove, she would be getting getting paid. You know what I mean? And then she um she came through, told me the story. She said, you know what I mean? His dad always talking about I love you and you know you you know your sweet sweet thing and you know this motherfucker. I guess one time she gave him a little smile. It was just like, you know, a smile. Acknowledge you, smile. Like, hey, how you doing? Though? Hey, you know what I mean? One of them jumps. This motherfucker went ham. As soon as he got the smile, I was like, I guess he, he thought it was equivalent to the wink. Like, you get the wink. But even with the wink, you can't just go grab titty. This nigga, grow, he, he went to go grab titty. Like, he wanted to, he wanted to touch that jump. You know what I mean? He was like, let me see that. <laughs> I say, yo, is this real? She said, man, could you not? This motherfucker grabs him. Her titties, like, she got... Them Jones like, triple T's or G's or something. Jones is nice, you know what I mean? Soft Jones, you know what I mean? This motherfucker grabbed him. This nigga, he, he got probably, like, 30 years older than her and whatnot. You know, she's, like, in her 30s. He's probably 50-something, late 50s if that. This nigga went ham. <clears throat> So, knocking on the wood, fuck it. Motherfucker, come to think about it. All right, she had to report this. She went to Corbett, called them up, let them know the deal. They was heated. The third in charge of the company, period, pretty much heated. And she's a female. And she's a female. Heated. She said, don't worry, don't investigation. Check the artists out. We want to know who this guy is. The guy's going. He's fine. He had to go. Had to go. He's going. Fuck out of here. You know what I mean? Get get the fuck out of here, dude. Anyway, this guy, his 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 son, the manager, the assistant GM, hired this guy. Under the wrong fucking social security number. Blase, blase, blah. Just put it like this. The social that's on the application is not that guy. You know what I mean? That's not that guy, man. So. Went ham. I mean, they went ham. This motherfucker hired the illegal. I mean, we got some other foreigners there. These guys... From the door was bringing out green cards and, and, and letting them know I'm illegal. Uh, one guy he expresses so much. Hey, this is my country now. You know, Ethiopian guy. He said, "This is my country now. I'm here. This is my country. I love America. You know." And he said, "Yeah, I know. I love America. God bless us, baby. You know what I mean?" Hey man, the life of Marcus. But what comes around goes around. This shit real. It's epic. You know what I mean? Nobody's sitting home praying for shit. You know what I mean? Praying. Hey, you know, he gets what he... Nah, that shit is... That's devil worshiping. Nobody pray for nobody's downfall. That's the devil. Pray for my progression and my... You know what I mean? And my forgiveness every day and about me. And, and my loved ones, they need it. Man, but... I got an answer to Jehovah. That's that's the most that's the most I need to worry about. I don't need to be worrying about somebody's downfall and praying on it. That shit is for the birds. That's for people that's into satanic type worship. And I don't do that. You know what I mean? That's 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 crazy. But anyway, my man tried to feel. He tried to touch the the soft chocolate titties. Like these Jones is big. Like and she's a heavy girl, a little heavy, you know what I mean? But she got some huge knockers, big. They chocolate, dark skin. She darker than me. And these Jones is crazy. Man, nice Jones. I was like, he touched them Jones? I'm like, oh, fuck. Part three coming, man. Free Party Entertainment, Block TV. Your boy, Marcus.